Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about when is the right time to start having children. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess you can say whenever you feel like it. <laughs> um, but no, I honestly, my honest opinion is whenever you have reached puberty and, you know, some people plan on it right when they reach pu puberty and some people... You know, they do it by accident and they, they have a child. And honestly, I would say when you're ready to take on the responsibility of a child, that's when you should have one. And some people haven't had the, enough time to think about becoming a parent. And I would say... As long as you have people around you that knows the value of having a child, the importance of it, what's in what's needed to keep a child healthy and what's needed to keep the parent healthy before taking care of the child or before having a child, that is number one. That's a priority. And some people wait until they're a certain age, or, you know, a much older age to have a baby. And, you know, some people have their child at a very young age. Um, but I would want you to make a child because there is a science behind people that make babies. It is. Now, the Bible, and we do know that the Bible was just rewritten by the the English, um, the Europeans, and it was translated in a way for others to understand it, um, but in their way, um, because the real biblical scriptures was in Egypt, and it's still there, and some of it, some of the information is here in America, but our biblical studies were much larger and bigger than what we're actually reading inside of the Bible today. And it does say that, you know, your blessings will come um, greatly whenever you bring a child into this world. However, it does say to take care of them when you do. Now, I've seen some parents, you know, disregard their children. And I've seen, you know, some children suffer because of that and i've also seen some children not suffer and still have no parents but it's all in how you know whether there was a certain birth effect if that person is going to be mentally stable enough to have a righteous lifestyle or if that person is going to even going to make a difference within just by being happy in their own lives because you know your blessings will come in even if you don't have a child you know because God is merciful and God will bless you because you are God yourself so that's one of the main things I wanted people to understand you are God yourself and women are goddesses men are gods and women are goddesses but we're all still gods um so you can create your own blessing just by being yourself um, without bringing a child into the world. But there's a science behind bringing a child into the world. And whenever I used to think about, well, how did someone, why is, some, why is a parent going through the way that they're going through? Why are they struggling so much if God said that your blessings would come in greatly when you bring a child in so why is parents stressing why are they struggling why are they why are they not doing well and why is the child not doing well either where is the blessing and that's when you get to look at it another aspect and everything that they do have that is the blessing okay whatever they do have that is the blessing but a lot of our blessings some people's blessings have been blocked by the Caucasian male because of the system that they have. 
um, controlling gods and having gods inside of a bubble and not in a position to have or own something because of the Caucasian male, which is the European, which is the government, which is the Confederate system that enslaves certain people to have a certain amount of money when everything is ours because we created these things um, to buy certain things and maybe out the reach of certain people because of financial issues and it shouldn't be about money, it should be about love, it should be about helping, it should be about, you know, things like that. But the um, Caucasian system is still being ran and by piece by piece, but some of the Caucasian, you know, systems, structures are being taken out, thank God, because this is a new area that we're living in. But, um, you know, your blessing is going to come in regardless once you have a child. Okay, even if you don't, your blessings are still going to come in because you are the God giving yourself the blessing. Um, but if you ever decide to have a child, just know that we are living in a world where the old Confederate laws are changing. So, and even before they were, before the change, they were, it was still changing, but it was more still in within. Um, it wasn't more, as diverse as it should be. And it was diverse, but it wasn't always diverse, diverse. It was more Caucasian male and female ran businesses. Um, but it, that prevented some people from moving forward with their child to receive a blessing, such as um, health, um, going to school, you know, um, your child may have been blessed with a gift way before they even graduated high school or college and, you know, it just wasted a lot of time because, you know, the, the system wanted them to go to school for many, many years, but they've been an entrepreneur at age five, you know, things like that. Um, but the right time to have a child should be whenever you feel comfortable enough to take on the responsibility. And I know I kind of just went off a little bit. But I want to let you guys know that the right time to have a child is up to you. And if it's by an accident and you find out that you just got someone pregnant or someone is pregnant right now and they're watching this video, just know that your blessings will come in because that's a promise. Okay. And as you can see, um, more people are beginning to have more kids now because of the pandemic and plenty of people had died and they're trying to repopulate things back into place now so that's very very important and i wanted to let you guys know that because um i you know i think about having a child too i want my own child too i've always desired to have my own child too and um you know, some people say, well, you don't want to bring a child in a world like this because we're living in the end times and things like that. But there is a science behind having children. It really is. Um, so once God has blessed you with a child, just do right by the child. Just be a good parent. You know, be um, a nice parent. Don't be a mean parent yelling and cursing and things like that. Um, hurting them and things like that. Just be a sweet parent person because when you treat your children right you treat yourself right when you treat yourself right you treat your children right and that is very important you know so it doesn't matter if you're of age if you look older than most people or you're younger or you're right in between whenever you feel comfortable with having a child make sure you're having it with someone who understands the value of a child like you do so that they won't be fatherless or motherless and that's one of the things that's very important and you want to make sure that, you know, this person is taking care of their body when they're carrying your baby because, and the father too, you know, because you're making the baby. You know, you want to make sure you're taking care of your body and you want to make sure that the woman is healthy while she has your baby in her stomach because that is going to be a part of your blessing for taking care of God's seed, which is your seed. It's that it's being, you know, Reproduce and you know becoming into an actual person. So I want you all to know that the perfect time to have a child is whenever you feel 
like you're ready to take on the responsibility of a child. See you guys.